We are just over a week away from the Super Bowl matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots, one looking for its first Lombardi trophy and the other for its sixth, all coming since 2002. For this chat, we brought out the big guns. CBS Philly's Don Bell in Boston, Steve Burton, asking each of them four identical questions, beginning with what weaknesses their teams can exploit. Don, take it away. I think the Patriots still have a pretty good offensive line, but I think the best unit in this game is the defensive line of the Eagles. That's really where all their strength lies. Uh, you got a pro bowler in Fletcher Cox. You got a guy who's all pro caliber in Brandon Graham. You have a first round rookie in the form of Derek Barnett, who caused a strip sack in the conference championship game. And you have former. New England Patriot Chris Long, and he made a massive impact in that NFC Championship game. Here's the thing when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles. I think they're weak in their secondary. They've given up 3,600 yards passing. They've given up a lot of touchdowns. You can throw on this football team. They're very strong against the run. Tough to run on Philadelphia, but definitely can throw on them. Before last week, I would have noted Eagles quarterback Nick Foles as an area of concern, but he's found his groove, leaving me to concur with my colleagues. All right, you've seen guys like Von Miller and Jerry Rice take over Super Bowl. So we asked the fellas, what opposing player they fear most? I think this is fairly obvious if you're looking at the Eagles. The, the, the player that the Eagles should fear the most is Rob Gronkowski. He is a mismatch in every single game he has ever played. He is that good. He's too big. He's too strong. He's too fast. And he's a guy that, if you're the Eagles, you're definitely going to worry about him, especially in the red zone. And it doesn't even have to be inside the 20 for him to be a threat. He's a threat down the middle of the field all game long. I would worry about Gronk. There's one or two guys, and they're expatriates, either LeGarrette Bunt or Chris Long, because both these guys are going to play with an edge facing their former team. I'm going to say LeGarrette Bunt, because Bunt wants to prove that the Patriots made a mistake in letting him go. Don goes with Gronk over Brady. All right, I hear you. Next up, the keys to winning. I think the keys to winning in the postseason, you know, they're pretty formulaic. You can't turn the ball over. It's that simple. You got to win the turnover battle and you got to convert on third down. The Eagles were excellent against the uh, Minnesota Vikings, who had the best third down defense by the numbers in the history of the NFL. They were 10 for 14. Nick Foles was out of his mind. If they continue, if they convert at that clip, then they will beat the Patriots. Protecting Brady, the key to winning on Sunday is always keeping number 12 upright. You give Tom Brady time to throw the football, he will absolutely kill you. And he looks across the field. He'll find his weapon. If they take away one guy, he'll go to someone else. I'll add one more. Can Belichick and company slow the Nick Foles lead run pass option attack? It has been the staple of the Eagles offense in the playoffs. And finally, we could not let them get off the hook without getting their picks. Everybody's talking about how Bill Belichick is the master of all coaches and how he'll be a challenge for Doug Peterson. I think it's going to be the opposite way. I think Doug is so unorthodox the way he calls plays, the way he calls offense. He has such a rhythm. All year long, he's been one step ahead of all the defensive coordinators. And I don't think this game is going to be any different, even though Nick Foles is the quarterback. I like the Eagles winning this game 24 to 21. The same score as it was in 2004, but in reverse. I think the Patriots win this game 31 to 24. I think that uh, Tom Brady has an another outstanding game and people are going to hate him because he's going to win his sixth Super Bowl. I'm with Burton, but I think it's going to be a little tighter. Patriots 31, Eagles 28, but I've got to add, I've picked against Philly throughout the playoffs and I've called Don a homer along the way, but alas, <laughs> he's had the last laugh. Up to this point though, Don, up to this point. Super Bowl 52 kicks off from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis at 5.30 p.m. a week from Sunday. Matt Yurish for CBS Local Sports.